Howdy all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2 Remote Edition. In the previous episode, we basically acquired some newer motive power from many of our bulk freight trains, such as the SD90 Max from EMD, which basically proved to be what we need to imp improve our, ton our tonnage on bulk traffic as the bulk traffic can now basically be delivered a lot more faster, and the trains can basically handle the much more heavier tonnage. Though also at the same time, we're also going to be experiencing some newer equipment coming in to hopefully fix the void that's been plaguing our system for a while. Again, as much as I like the Alco PAs, they're very much over... They're basically over 50 years old by this point. Because I think they've introduced in the 40s or the 50s, I can't remember. But, because of this, we have to basically find an alternative diesel for the express trains. Plus, we might as well modify some of these signals here too, to make them a little more ornate for this junction. Somehow my game is lagging like crud again. I definitely might need to get some improvements for this PC, or at least have a new one eventually down the line. But it still works all the same, despite the problem. Now, with that out of the way, we might as well look at some of the other traffic that might need to be worked on. Like, why is this train of livestock going that way? It should not be. Well, it was possibly due to the changes I made with the main line lines. Plus, many of our bulk freight trains have also been taken care of. And our main line electric commuter trains have been taken care of by the metro liners. And, the normal, and our normal electric commuter trains have been taken care of by... Well... Our new electric express trains have been taken care of by the AEM-7. Let's see, which one was that one again? Yeah, this one, number 48. Let's see. Shinesen Cigar Factory has paper coming in, has, has paper finally coming in. Although this train has yet to basically return back to the paper mill to pick up another load. It's waiting for its turn. Another traffic jam up at the junction, near Woodsburg. Find oil should not basically need to wait. Well, some of these other train. Wait, how come this series has a set of SD40 2s? I thought I replaced them. Well, I could at least just buy a new set of these. Looking for a free path. understand why that diesel just can't basically go this way and just up. Oh. Well, that will work. <sighs> the sooner I could basically get these trains to work in harmony, the better. Speaking of which, I have... I really need to get started on the delivery supplies to Grand, to Grand Valley. There hasn't been any cargo delivered here, and I need to fix that. 
It needs war materials and tools. Let's see. Suppliers. Let's look at the Pine Valley Tool Factory. There's steel and there is tool, steel and lumber there already. And one train is already basically going to be picking up tools. It's on its way there now. So I'll have to set up another freight train to carry these tools to their destination. I'll basically pick this up. Let's see, last freight train for town supply was TX14, so I'll need to basically go to new... I'll have to go to new line. Well, line one. And just put in freight train TS 15A tools. It will pick up tools from the factory at Pine Valley Transfer. Yeah, you could basically see on why with so many darn mods, this game is struggling to keep up. And the cargo will be dropped off here at the Grand Valley Yard. Now I just need to purchase some vehicles to service this new, new line. I'll head back to the new diesel factory nearby to pick one up. Let's see, we already have the GP-38s in the main, the older, D the GP-30s have been replaced by these, so these diesels will be used to carry tools. Let's see. Plus, we could also use our new high cube boxcars, which basically are a lot bigger compared to these FMC 50 foot boxcars. All right, five, 490 units is pretty good. We'll grab a bay window caboose and assign it to that new service. Now we'll take a tiny chunk out of our company's finances, but it won't be too much because we just need two billion do more dollars just to finish up one of the tasks of getting 10 billion in my company's bank account. Now let's see. Wow, 226 units of refined oil are waiting to be picked up. Where's train 112 waiting for? Oh no, it's a traffic jam on this section of line. Now the track will be clear for this train once the line is set. Yep, there it goes. Speaking of which, did the GP30s get a new sound? Oh, wait, that's not the G that's not the GP30, that's the that's the big DDA-40X diesel. Hmm. Well, at least my train of fish is making its way now. But 
this train needs to get started on delivering its meat quick. There's plenty of coffee beans waiting for pickup. And plenty of meat at the meatpacking plant. <sighs> I'll have to wait a little while longer until those jeeps can deliver the pick up the oil. Speaking of which, uh... Oh, I actually forgot I had a pair of E9 diesels on one of my express trains. Hmm. Well, other than that, little mishap at the junction, I'll also need to add some uh, trucks to service this area. I'll need to set up a new service. But first, I need to basically place down a freight depot for my trucks to drop off its cargo. Since tools are, industri are commercial items, I'll basically place that one here. As long as it's... Yep, it doesn't affect the main bus route. This will be Truck Service J1. Pull on any 10 minutes. Dark green. Well, not dark green. It will basically pick up tools at the fact at the well at the warehouse. Let's see. We could try the new uh, Cascade tarpaulin truck. This one carries about 60 units compared to the Kent. Although the Kentworths can carry about 72. Well, I might as well try this unit and see how it works. And now we just need to worry about next is the delivery of war materials. Which, by the way, the war materials factory, how is that doing so far in producing commodities? Has plenty of copper and plenty of steel, so this stuff is basically good to go. Although I think I might have to build an extra platform to accommodate this new train. Let's see, track, standard track. Place down the platform right beside the main station here. Is there any other towns that need this? Well, we're delivering some of this already to Pine Valley by road. But Grand Valley has yet to receive any of this stuff. So we'll basically need to start expanding that a little bit more. Build a track out of the out of that siding, and then build a connecting track to this section of the main line here. Double slip switch it, and to protect the train from basically running onto the main line blind, a dwarf signal will stop any trains that basically try to proceed onto the main. Which means I'll have to replace this single aspect color light signal with a two to a Two head. All right. Now with that, I'll need to set up another service. It will pick up another. The train will pick up loads from there. Travel through Pine Valley and whiskey to reach Grand Valley. And it will drop off its cargo on track two. And since this is basically the second train that serves this town, it will be called Freight. Oh. Granite needs uh, fruit juice. Anyway, Freight Train TS-15 B, 
War materials. And now I just gotta get a train to pick up that stuff and deliver it to its destination. Now, since this war material stuff can be kind of heavy, I might as well use some of the newer diesels. Whiskey now needs packaging cartons. Let's see. I think I'll probably just use the uh, SD90U for this service. Cargo. War material. Okay, there's a train that's mutually blocked. <sighs> train 48, it, let's see. It's the express train being blocked by the freight. Now, with that out of the way, let's get back to business. We need to still get that freight train set up. Let's see. Stations. Uh. Routes. Trains. Kingsburg diesel shops. I wish we could basically, like, jump to it. Another train? Train 88, no path. Oh, no wonder. This this crossover track is way too small for the length of the train that's going on on that line. Alright, that should fix the problem. And plus, since we're near Kingsburg, I could at least be able to get back to the diesel factory. Okay. The two diesels, and I just need to get the ones that carry war material. Basically, make a bit of a mixed freight for this one. It's so hard to basically get a good consist set up with all the cars that you want that basically have an even number at the end. Well, it's not much, but at least this is actually a good looking freight. ninety four million but it won't be too much we'll basically set it up on the service and with that now we have two trains serving the town 
though this train is now waiting for a free path. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I should actually start expanding this air, this station a bit. There's so many trains coming in, there's not enough tracks for all of my equipment. So it's time to actually start expanding this freight depot a little bit more. Okay. Train of refined oil will have to go onto this track instead. Let's see. Because I don't understand why this freight train can't basically get into the yard. Oh, wait, I just realized it didn't even need to build that extra platform. Well, I can at least set up another train to pick up lubricants and take, well, oil and take it to the lubricants factory near Cedar Point. That would be quite a thing, and oh, new vehicles! A Volvo 5000 bus, the, a new diesel switcher, and that's it. No new passenger engines yet. Not to mention, this train yard is so full to the brim with traffic. Even the trains going out of the yard are being completely locked by all these trains. How could all these trains basically have problems getting through? And why is this train supposed to go on this track? It's not supposed to. Freight it's supposed to go for Riverside. It needs to go through this signal here. To stay on the passenger line. And then this signal. Then on the return trip from Grand Valley, it will go on this signal. Uh, and through this signal. Wait, why is it basically going on all four tracks? I don't get it. Supposed to head back to Granite, unless they basically add this signal on the way back. Nope, that's gonna make it all four tracks. I don't want all four tracks. Ugh. Fine. If you want to be on the freight line, go ahead. I am not in the mood to fix this problem right now. <sighs> Looks like we'll have a lot of train organizing and sorting to do. 
but I'll probably take care of that in the next episode. So, if you had enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. The text is giving you disagrees for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye! Yeah, the train kind of glitched for a second. But anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.